This video was scripted in a scripting program I made in four days, is what my intro would be if things didn't go horribly wrong, but we'll get to that later. I discovered that writing scripts was a rather boring task, so I decided to fix this by making my own scripting program as it seemed like fun. I was wrong. Very, very wrong. I began planning the software. Spoiler alert, I didn't have time to finish any of the maybe features. For now, this is pretty good. I mean, I feel like this is gonna take us a while anyway. I'm also not gonna worry about the design or the CSS until later, but for now it's gonna look really trash and that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna come with the amazing name of Quick Script. That is so bad. <laughs> I set up the project and created the menu, which took way longer than it should have. Okay, this annoys me. This irritates me. Why, why do you get to here and then like, stop? I'm, I've, I've literally been sent here for like 40 seconds. Welcome to hell. There we go. Fancy like that. Uh, then we want to basically... Ah, that did a thing. Great script. Welcome to the editor. Okay, there we go. Cool. I added a text area, which would act as the input for writing the script, which would then be saved to a JSON file. I spent a while playing with strings, so it was possible to select the current sentence. And it should, if we now do all S, it should, hopefully, yeah. Oh, this makes no sense. Can I get copyright for this? I obviously didn't have my big brain cap on that day. For adding comments, I decided to have an options menu that would later allow you to manipulate the selected piece of text. Uh, I don't even... Okay, so we just... <laughs> we, we just... We just have, like, some random C code on our clipboard. That I don't even recognize. Nice. Okay, it's <laughs> it kind of works. Something's not obviously right. Okay, it just scroll it just scrolls it now, which we don't want. I wanted the user to be able to select the next and previous sentences. It was here that I ran into a big problem. Oh, so we need to start from the current sentence. Oh. Finding the energy to use my brain. Okay, I've just been taking a break and I've realized another problem. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this video out on time. I got the selection sort of working, but I felt that I was spending way too much time on an unnecessary feature, so I decided to move on. Next I added the ability to create comments, and added a view mode. Okay, so we have it, like, saving now. This is where it gets a little bit complicated. Just, just a tad mind-boggling. The entire program's really broken. I realized the view mode was completely unnecessary, but if I wanted to highlight comments, I would have to take an input with my own implementation of a text area, which is time-consuming. After some bug fixing and general functionality improvements, the program was ready. Or so I thought. Now all I needed to do was add some CSS. I am so, so sorry to anyone watching this with OCD. I mean, just look at this hideous mess. 10 minutes with CSS managed to cause me 5 mental disorders, so... I decided to just leave it. I initially planned to script this video in QuickScript, but my code was incredibly buggy. The program was barely usable. I then ran into this bug where adding text before and after an area with a comment would completely break the program, which, for the life of me, I could not fix in a timely manner. So, the project was left in this dire and buggy state. I will now attempt to showcase a few aspects that did work. Okay, so, our horrendous application is complete. If we come over here, we can create a script. Demo script, right? Um... And then, in projects, we can just select this folder, uh, and then we can create it. We can also open scripts, by the way, but I'm not going to show that. So, we have this demo script open, uh, and we can add some text to it. So, we'll just be like, some awesome script that is a demo. So, we can select text using Alt-S, uh, like so. And then, we can use Alt-Left to select the previous sentence, and Alt-Right to select the next sentence. And then, if we wanted to add a comment, we can do that and press Alt-O. Uh, and then, we have this menu. So, we do Add or Edit Comment. So let's just say like uh, my demo comment and then we click escape that comment is now added and if we do alt m we can switch to view mode I know this is already getting very over complicated if we do alt c it then tells us the places we have a comment So if we then see this highlighted text here and hover over it at the bottom you can see the comment for it Oh and I forgot to mention you can also zoom in and out uh, like so pretty crazy I've learned a lot of things over the past few days. I've learned that you shouldn't do a month-long project in four days. I've learned not to use JavaScript. I've learned that I'm massively incompetent. I've also learned not to share my opinions on the internet because that gets people angry for some reason. Thanks for dealing with me. If you enjoy following my slow descent into madness, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm literally just sat here waiting for a plane to pass. This is tragic. <laughs>